What is up, Cryonix? Welcome back to the Tuners DLC update. In this video, we'll be customizing the brand new Emperor Vector. This is the third drip feed vehicle of the update, and it officially released today, August 12th, 2021. It has a normal price of just under 1.8 million, and a trade price, which you can see here in the background, of 1.3 million. So, very expensive sports car. It's not cheap, that's for sure, as with most of the vehicles in this update. I mean, pretty much everything is over a million dollars, which is pretty nuts. Um, but I already went ahead and bought it, so here it is. Look at that. Looks really, really good. Love the detail on here. Wow. Finally, a newer Lexus in this game. It's been a long time. It was a long time coming. Hopefully, we get the LFA in the future, but for now, I mean, this is pretty decent. So, <laughs> this vehicle is primarily based on the 2021 Lexus RCF. Very, very good looking car. Um, and it's kind of crazy how Rockstar chose the 2021 model. And you can tell because of the headlight shape versus the older models. So, they went with pretty much the newest one. I guess they could at the time when they were making this update. So, that's pretty sick. And I mean, the details here, it is very nice. I mean, the stock wheel is almost identical. I mean, the whole look of the car, the giant vent back here, everything is pretty much spot on. It's unbelievable how close Rockstar is getting with these cars. I mean, even the giant front grille, it all looks really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and check out the customization. You can see it's in the sports class, as it should be. And it comes stock with a carbon roof, which is kind of interesting. You see the carbon roof there. Alright, armor, brakes, bumpers. Okay, so you got secondary bumper, which makes the chrome trim. That's your secondary color. No carbon option, sadly. Next option is arc bumper, which I guess adds a split area to your grill and some aggressive carbon pieces around the vents down there. Interesting, okay. Let's see what else. You got the rally bumper, which makes it look like a Subaru BRZ, in my opinion. It looks... <laughs> very weird um, some other options here performance you got track bumper looks kind of weird okay yeah I mean <laughs> at least in my opinion the only good bumper that looks decent on this car is the stock one with the giant grill I mean that's what this car should have the other ones just look strange I don't know it makes it look worse <laughs> uh, so I guess um, hmm, maybe secondary I guess we'll see. They should have had a carbon option. That would have been nice, but we'll leave it on chrome for now because I don't know if we do secondary and match the same color, it might look weird. Um, rear bumpers. You got nice diffuser, crazy diffuser back here. Okay, and a vent. Whoa, racer bumper. Adds like a piece down there. Secondary racer. Skid bumper. Okay, some carbon pieces there, GT, okay, you know the GT doesn't look bad, but why'd they put the holes in the back? I get it's for weight reduction and all that, but I mean, that just, just doesn't look great. <laughs> it is a bit big though, you see the length there. Okay, so and then super, oh boy, okay, um, hmm, I guess we'll do skid bumper. Yes, this other one looks pretty decent too. I don't know, the skid bumper, I guess. Uh, engine block. So you got primary intake, secondary, chrome, and carbon. I think we'll do primary so it pops a little bit. Rail covers. Oh boy. All different types of rail covers here. I'm going through here. Alright. And this last one here, this one actually looks kind of similar to the real car. i throw a photo on screen so you can see. Not bad. Looks pretty decent. So I guess we'll do that one. Might as well. Strut brace. Let's see here. Carbon. A bunch of different options here. Pretty much the same options for, like, all the cars. I guess we'll do the carbon one. Might as well. This one, the carbon strut brakes, nice and simple. Uh, engine tunes, max it out, of course. Exhaust. Okay, let me rub it up a bit here to get rid of the smoke. 
So you got anodized, you got oval, you got slash cut, twin round, and titanium. So the stock exhaust is definitely too small. Um, and there's no there's no like large quad exhaust. This is like the only quad exhaust, and it's like gold tipped for some reason, and they're kind of tiny for this car. I don't know. Um, hmm. I guess we'll do the oval. The slash cut looks pretty good. It kind of matches our our bumper a little bit, but hmm. We'll do a slash cut, I guess. Fenders, okay. So boom, you got like a subtle wide body. Kind of interesting looking there. You do lose the side vent though, which I think is a kind of a big shame that you lose that. That's like a nice characteristic of the car. Without it, it looks so plain on the side. Um, and you got different variations of that. And you got performance, which is like a crazy different one with some different style vents there on the side. Wow, very weird looking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I I like this one a bit more. This one's a bit too crazy for me. And then, see, maybe this one, if it would have had the side vent, the stock one, I wouldn't have mind. But, yeah. I guess we'll keep it with the vent. Headlight covers. You have all the different options there for those of you who like, you know, a different colored glass. Uh, hood accessories. So you have different hood catches. Well, you got the hood bra. I didn't see this on any of the other cars in this update. <laughs> okay. All right, moving on to hood options. So you got the stock hood there with the stock vent. Kind of similar to the real car. Pretty cool. Different variations. Then you got carbon version of that, which looks kind of similar to the track edition of the RCF. Very nice. You got smooth. If you want it to look like a regular Lexus RC for some reason, you can do the smooth hood. Let's see here, we got vented hood, we got street hood, racer hood, that one's pretty nice, kind of similar to the stock, but extra vents, I like that one. You got racer hood, which gives you like, interesting looking, almost like a fake vent, but I guess it's just like a design on the hood, and then the other vents are actually functional, very interesting the way they did that. Then you got skid hood, kind of like an Evo <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, I guess we'll do the racer hood. I like that one a lot. Only question is carbon or regular? Hmm, not sure. The carbon is a bit much though on this, I think. Let's do a regular. Alright, so we got interior, so you got dash. So street interior, it completely removes your radio. I don't know. <laughs> your radio controls, it just puts a carbon panel over them. It looks really weird. Um, and of course you got the uh, handbrake stick <laughs> or was that? I, I like to call it the drift stick <laughs> uh, then you got carbon dash and stripped interior okay and then flock dash and stripped interior and it keeps the back seats for all of them so that's kind of funny um, I you know <laughs> they don't have really something in between it's like pure race car I guess I'll just leave it the way it is because I don't want to lose my radio I actually like the way that looks it looks good it looks premium you got different racing style door panels if you want to choose one of those. Uh, seats. Um, I actually like the stock seats, but you know, we'll go through the seats here so you can see all the options. Alright, steering wheels. So you have the stock wheel here, absolutely beautiful with the carbon paddle shifters. Then you got all the different steering wheels they offer for <laughs> other cars in the game. So I think I think we can all agree the stock one is the nicest by far. It looks really, really good, so we're gonna keep that. A uh, roll cage, so if you want to do a roll cage, I'm not sure why the interior goes up like that, that's weird, or maybe it's just, the, I think it's the camera, um, so all the different options there, oh my gosh, so you, can, you know, all these options here in this section, I guess is if you're doing like a full on race car build, but if you're doing more like a street build, like what I'm doing, um, uh, I don't think we're going to put any of these to be honest, um, so keep on going here, we got lights, headlights, throw some xenons on there, definitely. Liveries, all right, so you got white stripes. Look, it goes all the way down to the area under the grill. That's kind of funny. Back here, you can see, we got black stripes. You got speed orange stripes, okay. You got those stripes, and yellow, or gold, <laughs> looks kind of yellow, goldish, I guess. You got the black premier stripes, that's pretty nice. 
Got the same one in green. Okay. Does that have, oh, it has a little logo back here too. That's interesting. And then it's Stance Andreas. <laughs> All right. Um, I kind of like this one a bit, but I don't know. Stripes on this, especially since we're, I'm going to do a carbon roof. I feel like the way it kind of does the contrast is a little strange. Uh, but I'll go back to it if I if I feel it needs a little bit more after we paint it. All right, so we got mirrors. So you got secondary, then you got carbon. Definitely going to do carbon mirrors. License plate, do a black background. I don't really have a good plate for this, if I'm being honest. Um, so I'll just put my JDM plate on here, I guess. Um, respray. So I have metallic. So for this car, I was thinking it's kind of something like a purple or a blue, um, or I could go just straight up white. Um, after debating it, I'm not really sure. I'm still not sure, to be honest. Is <laughs> the white? I mean, you got it, guys. Guys, gotta admit the white looks really good on this car. Uh, but you know, so does like a nice blue or a gray. Um, I think I'm gonna end up going with a blue, to be honest. Do the let's, let's see how it looks. Dark blue with the ultra blue pearl. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. Hmm. What about? Where's the? We can try like a crazy looking purple. It's like a spinnaker purple, like a gasoline green pearlescent. It's a really cool looking color. Yeah, spinnaker purple with gasoline green. That looks sick. <laughs> that looks really, really good. Let's do that. Something different. A secondary color, I think it's your just your brake calipers. Yes, yeah, your brake caliper color, and I think that's it. Oh, it's the diffuser too. I thought that I, I don't know why I thought the diffuser was carbon. I guess it was because it was secondary black. <laughs> uh, I might have to change that now. That that just looks weird. The diffuser hanging out like that in that color just doesn't look right. Um, let's let's throw the purple on here because I don't want to have black brake calipers. So we'll do the uh, spinnaker purple, and then we'll uh, let's quickly go back and change that rear bumper. Yeah, all of these are the same, except for these have the little line on them. Okay, wow, that's a bit, that's a bit unfortunate. All right, stock rear bumper it is. Um, okay, back to respray. We have our trim color, which is the interior, obviously. I'm definitely going to go white for this. Interior and white is going to look great. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Love that. Accent color is your gauges, I believe. I'll just leave that the way it is. Kremlin goes on the side of the door. A roof, roof accessories. So you have <laughs> different antennas. That's funny. <laughs> A lot of different roof wings, roof spoilers if you want one of those for some reason. A lot of different options there. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll have the antenna in primary. So we'll do the carbon fin antenna so that it matches our... Because we're going to do a carbon roof, so might as well make it match a bit better. A street skirts. Hmm. Let's see here. Lots of good options here. Wow. Tons of skirt options. That's insane. Look at the size of this. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um, the arrow skirt is sick. Looks really good. But there's no... Oh, there is carbon. Oh, but it has the primary at the bottom. That's weird. There's maybe full... Rally. It's a tough choice. I think the rally skirts. Those are look really good. Those are the rally skirts, I guess. <laughs> uh, splitters. So you have carbon stock. The arc splitter. Sting splitter. I love the sting splitter. That's nice. It's, it's got like the, the same ragged edges as the stock one, kind of. Really good looking. And then you have Rally Splitter, which is more smooth at the front, as you can see. Continuing here. Yeah, those are all the options. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> um, 
Hmm, I guess I'll do the carbon sting. I didn't realize it has the, the lip as well at the bottom. So I might change up my skirts a little bit. Let's just put these, I guess, so it matches a little better. Okay, spoiler. We got low lid spoilers. So if you want a simple ducktail, very nice looking. Carbon. We got primary. We got duck. Well, even more of a ducktail. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's crazy looking. <laughs> we got more arc spoiler. Wow, a bunch of different ducktails. We got racer spoiler. Simple, simple one there. GT. We got street spoiler. And you got Aero Sporter, which the Aero Sporter, I mean, it's kind of similar to, like, the uh, the track edition of this car, which looks kind of cool. So if you're going for that look, you can do that. Um, I'm going to go with one of the, the DuckTales. I think the Carbon Low Lid, I like that a lot. So we'll do that. My Sun Strips, if you want to put a Sun Strip. <laughs> Suspension, we definitely got to lower this. Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, it has the camber thing. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Of course it does. Why, why doesn't it have it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I'm not going for that. I don't want to look like a, a bagged RCF or something. So I guess we'll, we'll do uh, we'll do the street suspension. It's, it's low enough, but not too low. Uh, transmission. Turbo. Wheels. So, stock wheels, they look really good. You know, kind of similar to the, uh, the standard RCF in real life. But I do want to change it up a little bit. So we're going to go to track. See what we got here. Where's the where are the wheels? I was gonna put on this. I forgot. Was it the hyper fresh? Or was it under street? I think it was the. Was it these? I think it was these. I don't even remember what wheels on. I was gonna put on it now. <laughs> I completely forgot. Um, I think it was the mercies. Let's just throw the mercies on there in black. Let's see how that looks. That looks really good. Love that. You can never go wrong with the Mercies. My favorite wheels in the game, Mercy Concaves, as some of you might imagine, I put it on a lot of my builds because I just really, really love the way they look. Uh, windows, light smoke, I guess. I don't want to tint it too much because I don't want to hide that interior all the way. Um, even though it looks a little better with a dark, I'll we'll do that. All right, so that's all the options there. Um, I, I think it's missing a bit on the bumper. Let's kind of add to that a little bit here. Yeah, I think it needs one with the trim. This, I think the only one has carbon with trim. Where's the other one? So this one has carbon with trim, carbon skid. I think the carbon skid matches the best with our other parts on the car. You see here? Yeah, carbon skid I think is the one we're gonna go with. So let's do that. All right, sorry for the back and forth guys. It's kind of hard to do a build for the first time. And I think I missed an option. Did we go to roof? Oh, I did miss an option. Sorry about that. Alright, so we got primary roof. We got inset roof. We got carbon inset. Secondary and carbon ridge line. Okay, so let's do the carbon inset. Perfect. Alright, all the options there. <laughs> now we got all the options for sure. Alright, let's take it out for a drive. I love the way that came out. It looks really, really good. Especially lowered. It really changes the way the whole car looks. Alright, rev it up a bit. Sounds really good. I mean, they pretty much copied and pasted the XA21 <laughs> exhaust in there a little bit. But they toned it down a bit. It doesn't sound the same. Very similar, though. Sounds really good. See the handling. Very good steering input. I like it. Bit of understeer. That's a post. <laughs> a few more corners here. Forcing it. Wow. This thing drives weird compared to other cars that I've driven. It's got a weird turn in. And then like a... Wow, strange. Very strange the way this drives. More corners. Back end wants to come out there a little bit. It's not very fast. It's kind of slow. Maybe it might be crazy fast with the lowered stance and uh, low grip tires and all that stuff on a straight line, but 
normally revving it with no tricks or anything like that, um, it doesn't really feel that fast. It feels kind of slow. This is not going to be beating the, the Calico GTF and tuner races, I can already tell you that. Um, you know, both of them stock for stock with just performance upgrades and no tricks. Uh, yeah. Not that fast. Um, and this car is all-wheel drive, for those of you who don't know, so that's why, I guess that's why it handles so weird. They really should have made it rear-wheel drive. Now, the real car, the RC, they offer it in all-wheel drive, but they don't offer the RCF specifically, the actual F model. They don't offer it in, uh, in all-wheel drive, so... Yeah, kind of weird that they chose that, but uh, let's see how that engine bay turned out. Let's see if everything opens up here as well. It should. Yep, everything opens up. Engine model turned out nice with the primary, with the valve covers. Looks good. Looks good the way that came out. Not bad, not bad. Interior there. The white with the purple looks so good. Maybe white wheels on this would have looked great too. The same wheels in white, but I think the black goes with the car a bit more. Love it. Back here. Pretty nice. Pretty good truck model too. They even did the uh, little arms back there. That's the brackets. That's really good the way they did that. That looks really realistic, I'm not going to lie. Wow, and the trim around it too. Not bad, Rockstar. Not bad. I can't believe I'm impressed by a trunk. <laughs> But I like little details. I'm all about the details, and I think that looks pretty good. Not bad at all. And the interior, of course, is the same one from the FMJ, pretty much. Doesn't look bad. Not bad at all. Close it up. Oh, and I almost forgot to show its stance. There you go. <laughs> pretty cool. Not bad at all. <laughs> looks awesome. Not bad. I think it's a great car. Is it worth this crazy amount of money? I'd probably say not. Um, this is probably going to be uh, on the prize right challenge eventually, so maybe hold off on getting it. Um, even with the trade price, I feel 1.3 million plus upgrades is just a bit too much for this car. It doesn't really feel that fast. And it's, you know, a Lexus RC. It's not a crazy, you know, car we've wanted for a long time or anything like that, even though I'm not speaking for the whole community here because it's probably you know, a select group of players have been wanting an RC forever, but for the majority of the community, you know, it's nice, but is it $1.3 million nice? Probably not, um, but overall, still a nice car. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you feel that it's worth this price. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.